So hey Mark. Hey Max, what's up? Uh you know, we're hanging, we're we're doing just just fine on this swell day. Um I want to talk briefly about Phoebe. We're okay. going to we're going to jump uh we're going to jump ahead a week after uh she actually murdered a man. Right. She actually murdered a man. Of course, can't forget that. How is that going? She found a therapist uh pretty quick after that cuz I think you need some therapy after you kill a man i agree that's not something you just breeze past but i mean aside from the mental scarring of killing a man she's okay you know she's working through it as best as she can one breakdown at a time that sounds about right yeah. any progress on the squogurt <laughs> um i don't think she's found any real evidence since the dumpster okay i i would i would assume anyway uh she hasn't told me that's good <laughs> <laughs> fantastic right so anyway we're jumping in uh exactly seven days after everything went down mm -hmm. um it is late at night and would you mind both for my sake and the audience's sake what does phoebe wear to bed uh just pajama pants probably tank top you know, something comfortable. Yeah, and I mean, it's starting to get warmer, so I think the tank top makes sense. Yeah. Any fancy patterns on the PJ bottoms? Checkers. Just checkers, you know, like a plaid type thing. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it is in this state that we find Phoebe at about 2.30 in the morning. Um, would you describe Phoebe as a heavy sleeper? No. Not really. Actually, especially probably not within the last week. Yeah. Um, so you are woken up. Uh, your phone is buzzing uh, incessantly. Uh, she takes it in her hand and she pushes the button. It's not It's not a phone call or anything. What? A, it can't be silenced? Yeah. Well, you look at it. It's a text message mm -hmm. with a high alert priority. Um you physically cannot read uh the number that it's being sent from it's garbled and and messed up uh and it asks a simple question this mm -hmm. text message it says where is the body i don't know do you send that back uh no she says that um i don't think she's gonna answer that she's not gonna answer that is she allowed to not answer that? Yeah, so so basically you just put your phone back down and like roll over? Yeah, I probably don't go back to sleep, but I just kind of lay there. Because that's a little weird after I killed a man. Uh, it buzzes again. Oh, no. Okay. Flip it back around and uh, is it from the same number? Yep, and it's just three question marks. Okay. She, I guess she sends back, what are you talking about? Uh, almost instantaneously another message appears and it says look i don't have time for this i don't know what sort of game you're playing i don't know what you're trying to prove but i need that body back here asap where is it i don't know about a body is your response mm -hmm. okay so as you send that uh you don't really get another response immediately but you do feel kind of dizzy okay uh, and as you sit in your bed, it, you feel strange, like your whole world has almost been tilted by 45 degrees. Um, outside, it is pitch black. A new moon uh, projects no light into your room. However, you feel as though you're not alone. And as you put your phone back down, turn it off, and your eyes very slightly adjust to the darkness... You can see a figure standing in the corner of your room. Um, she's gonna, she's gonna post up with her fists at this at this figure. She's gonna jump out of bed and just be ready to fight. Okay, the figure stands motionless. Um, and again, you do feel like kind of dizzy right now. Okay. Uh, um, can I walk over to the figure? Yeah, I mean, are you gonna like turn the light on or anything? I'm going to grab my phone and turn on the flashlight. Okay. Phoebe. Mm hmm As you turn on the flashlight and shine it at this intruder, I think your heart skips a beat. 
for a for like a hot sec there. Is it um Doofus McPizza Face? Adam? Yeah. Yes. Of course it is. His neck bent out of shape, uh. head still wrapped in bandages. The last thing you can clearly focus on is him saying, I wish you would come with me, as everything goes dark. Hi, Will. Hi, Max. It has been a week. It has been exactly seven days since Phoebe destroyed a man with nunchucks. It sure has. What has Cornelius been doing for the last week? Probably a lot of the same, maybe occasionally throwing in texts asking how she's doing. Okay. Do you talk to Atticus at all, too? Probably, just in passing, not like... Like, he probably asks both of them if they're alright, and when they respond, he just goes from there. Gotcha. And the uh, amusement park, everything's going well. Everything's going smoothly with that. Hell yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to jump into this point exactly seven days uh, after everything happened. And um, for for my sake as well as the audience's, what does Cornelius wear to bed? Probably just a t-shirt and some shorts. Okay. Maybe un- Maybe just underwear. You need to make that call t-shirt and some undies okay like boxers yeah yeah okay um any fancy pattern on the boxers no he's a, he's a plain 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 underwear kind of guy very practical um so yeah we're gonna jump in is cornelius a sound sleeper usually occasionally there will be a fox in the fields and he'll wake up because you know foxes are a fucking nightmare mm-hmm for for anyone that has never had the joy and absolute pleasure that it is to hear a fox in early to mid spring. Oh yeah, where they just scream. They scream like a dying woman. Yeah. Just being chased through the woods. But um, instead it's just a fox. But then you're like, oh my god, someone's being murdered. So you get up and you go outside just to make sure no one's being killed and um it's just it's just a It's just a fox Mm -hmm. running around, screaming. It's just screaming a whole lot. Sure Um, is. So you are not uh, awakened by the sound of uh, a screaming fox. It's actually your phone. It's going off at about 2.30 in the morning. Um... What's it doing? Is it it's just buzzing? Does it, It's like a phone call? Uh, your first thought would be a phone call with the amount that it's ringing. But I, I don't know where your phone is in relation to you. So like... It's probably on his nightstand. So he probably picks it up and goes to answer it as if it's a phone call. Yeah. So as you like... I imagine you like bring your finger across the screen to unlock it and answer. Um, it's actually not a call. It is a high priority text message. Oh. Uh, and this text message asks a simple question. Where is the body? Followed by about 10 question marks. Who is this? Is that your response? Sure. Do it. Is it? It's not. It's. I'm assuming it's not in the contact that I have. No, it's actually very difficult to read where it's being sent from. You know, your, your eyes are adjusting to waking up again, but you just can't really quite decipher this number. Uh, yeah, so then a who is this? Uh, almost instantaneously, the message responds, Listen, buddy, I just did this with Phoebe and she's not answering me. Where is the body? Who, what body? The one! Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't put this much inflection in it. <laughs> <laughs> the one that Stolas got rid of. I don't know who you are. And I have no idea where a body would be. Again, instantaneously, another long text appears and it says, listen, bud, I get it. You're new. You're trying to prove yourself, trying to make an example of the people who are already here. But we've worked hard and I need to know where that is or I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. Even if I knew who you were, why would you assume that I would know where a body was disposed of? Uh, so as you as you like send that text message, you're probably feeling confused and maybe a little annoyed <laughs> at this point. Um, you start to get a little dizzy. Ooh, uh, don't like that. As if your your whole 
like world is being shifted by like 45 degrees it is not a pleasant feeling uh and as you try to you know straighten yourself out even in your bed you're feeling woozy you get the distinct impression that you are not alone in your room oh thanks i hate that hello <laughs> uh so you put your phone down there's a new moon outside, so no light is coming through. But as your eyes adjust ever so slightly to the darkness, there's someone standing in your corner, perfectly still. Hello? Uh, they make no motion. Cornelius reaches for the shotgun next to his bed. Okay. You, uh, you pull it up. I mean, like, do you turn on a light? Do you do you do anything? I mean, yeah. Like, he'll probably turn a light on as he's going for the shotgun. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. You flick the light, grab the shotgun, and you have it pointed at Adam. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, his neck is still bent in that horrible fashion that Phoebe left him in. Face still wrapped with that, uh, that wavy black hair poking out of the top. And he's just looking at you. Cornelius, if he's not already out of bed, um, is out of bed now, horrified, and pointing the shotgun at Adam, uh, and asks very confusedly, how did you get in my house? Um, so as you stumble towards him again, feeling just that horrible, horrible dizziness, uh, the last thing that you are accurately able to process is, I wish you would come with me as everything goes dark. Oh no. Oh no. Hey Beth. Hi. We are jumping one week into the future. (gasps) The future? The future. Atticus has spent the last seven days recovering in the hospital. Yeah, that's not been fun for her. She doesn't like that. No, but you know who does like it? Your body. You are back at full HP. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, but I think otherwise, it's probably been a long seven days. I think Rose has visited you a few times. Uh, Cornelius has sent you some text messages asking if you're okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but otherwise, it's kind of just been seven days of boredom and isolation. Atticus is feeling, especially by the end of the week, just really low. Yeah, I, w- I would imagine so. Um, but you are all set to be released tomorrow, and that is something to look forward to. I guess. Um, what does Atticus normally wear to bed? Or I guess normal is sort of relative here. What is her nightly attire in the hospital? Um, she's got some like workout shorts and a... Um one of those like tank tops like really loose tank tops that doesn't show anything but it's just loose enough to be really comfortable non-restrictive um just because in the hospital like she's not super sick she doesn't need a hospital gown um especially by the time she's about to be released so she just kind of chills in some shorts she had um cheese bring over from her apartment yeah yeah good old cheese she felt so weird about giving him a key but she didn't really want to give rose a key Mm -hmm. and no one else visited her yeah uh and that works out too that's someone to feed your cat Mm -hmm. um poor netherfield i hope he's not mad you get the feeling that she's in netherfield are actually like fast friends if that's the case atticus is going to be crushed because netherfield barely tolerates her yeah there's just something about cheese just an animal magnet atticus Atticus's heart is squished into nothingness. Like, he sends you all these cute selfies of him and cheese. You know what? I'm going to be really honest here. I think at one point she actually does cry. Oh, no. Uh, cheese is very happy, though. So anyway, we're, we're getting a little off track here. So we are jumping in one week after the madness. Oh, my God. Yeah. God, I, I kind of forgot for a minute there what she'd done or what she was about to do and was super prepared to do. Uh, and I think that has also fucked up her mental state. I think she's just not feeling great. She's hiding it. Uh, she hasn't tried to be open about it with anyone, but Atticus is not doing well. Yes, I, I would, I would guess not. Um, but it is 2.35 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
and your phone starts buzzing like a maniac. Who is it? Do you reach over and grab it? Yeah, if it's waking me up in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Your first instinct is, of course, that this is some sort of phone call, Mm -hmm. but it's actually a high-priority text message. Oh. Uh, You cannot decipher the number. It's not anything in your contact list. Maybe it's just, you know, trying to wake up, Mm -hmm. trying to get the dust out of your eyes, but um, that number is not making any sense to you. The body of the text reads, where is the body? Followed by about uh 25 question marks um before you have a chance to respond it sends another one and it says atticus do not play this game with me where is the body i call it okay (laughs) call the number (laughs) you call the number and you hear oh for the love of god I don't know who you are, but it is 2.30 in the morning. Yes, I'm well aware of that. Do you know where Phoebe and Cornelius are? Who the fuck do you think you are calling me at 2.30 in the morning? Who Who the fuck do you think you are abducting my body? Listen, I said this to the others. I get it. You're new. You're looking to make a powerful impression. I don't even want to know how you did it. I just want it back. I'm going to get in a lot of trouble if it doesn't come back. I I don't know what you're talking about. The body, the body that Stolas got rid of for you. Where is it? Um, what? What? I, I don't, I, I literally, I don't. So, Stolas thing, he ba-duped it out. Uh, I, I don't fucking have any control over what happened to that at that point. Ugh, humans are infuriating. I'm sorry. Mr. Stupid Man, I'm really fucking tired if you couldn't tell us 2.30 in the goddamn morning. If you want to try explaining what's going on, I would love to help you. Otherwise, shut the fuck up and leave me alone. Uh, the phone clicks off. She slammed it down and rolls over. Okay. Uh, as you start to roll over, this wave of dizziness washes over you. Uh, like your whole world is being tilted. Uh, no, no. Um... And as you sort of, like, sit back to try and cope with this, um, Mm -hmm. your eyes adjust a little bit to the darkness, and you realize you're not alone. Is there a lamp next to me? Yes, there is. I grab it, like, defensively. I don't care how much stuff I knock over, I grab it. Do you turn it on? No, I grab it, like... I I hold it in my hands like I'm gonna fucking beat this guy with it. Okay, the figure makes no movement. Hey, um, I can see you, and I need you to leave my room. As you blink, the figure gets closer to you. Um, hi, hello? Uh, as your eyes continue adjusting in the darkness, you see Adam. His neck is bent in that same twisted fashion that Phoebe left it in, face still wrapped up. She is, like, choking on her breath, and she is absolutely shaking. The last thing you are able to process as your whole world goes black is, I wish you would come with me. Uh. Hi, everyone. It's Max here for your regularly scheduled ad break. What's up? Thanks for listening to Wishmaker. I didn't know what I was going to say there. Uh, But thanks so much for listening to Wishmaker Part 7. This is the second to last episode in this adventure. Um, And I'm very pleased with this one. I guess for my own selfish reasons. Because everyone thought that they were coming into uh, the, the sort of after adventure little special that we do in between adventures here. Um, but <laughs> no, it was more Wishmaker. So, uh, I hope you guys were surprised as well. Cause you know, I felt like the end of episode six was very much a, uh, uh it could have been the, the closure, but one, I was greedy and two, I thought there was more that we could do with this. So here we are. <laughs> um, but, uh, July 5th, no, July 1st. July 1st, 
uh, will be the end of Wishmaker, and then we get into some uh, in between y type shenanigans. But they have a different name this time around, um, uh, which we'll we'll talk about later. It's not that's not very important. But uh, yeah, tune in, tune in July first uh, for the start of the end of Wishmaker. <laughs> Um, hey, if you like what you're listening to, and I really hope you do if you've been listening to Wishmaker and hopefully season one as well, um, oh my god, please tell a friend about the show. Hit your friend up with a link to Wishmaker uh, on their podcast app of choice or on our uh, official Libsyn page uh, that I link to every week on Twitter. Send the, send Wishmaker Part 1 to a friend. Um that would really mean the world to us. That is probably the number one way that we get new listeners is from all your friends who you tell about the show. Um, we super duper appreciate it if you do that. Thank you so, so much. Um, and of course, you could also post about us on social media, haha, <laughs> please, <laughs> um, with the hashtag TinCast. Uh, if you do it on Twitter or Tumblr, those are the things that we track the most. Um, there's so much good art and just it's always wonderful to hear your thoughts uh with the hashtag tincast on social media and if you do we'll put you in the show as a major or minor character almost 100 percent of the time uh <laughs> so please 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 do that that would that would just be awesome um hey money we need it we're not proud of it, but we need it. Uh, your support helps keep the show running on a weekly to weekly basis through Patreon at patreon.com slash tincast. Uh, there's so much good stuff on Patreon. I will forever sing Patreon's praises. That's just me. That's a me thing. Uh, Patreon is great. I love all of our patrons. Um, what do you get? If you're a patron, well, <laughs> thanks for asking. It depends on what level you subscribe to. Uh, first of all, we officially have a time for episode previews to go live. We've been doing episode previews consistently for over a year. Uh, and I can finally say with semi-strong confidence that we officially have a time that they are going to launch. Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when you can head over to patreon.com slash tincast and listen to the episode previews that we post. One is free every single week, so please head over there and listen to it. It's the, usually the first minute of the following episode. Um, and then we have our basic $1 tier. Uh, if you subscribe to that, thank you so much. We double your original offer. You get the second minute <laughs> of, uh, of next week's episode. Um, usually it's a little more. We try to make it a little more than a minute. Um, but you can you can find all that there, and then, um, you're, if you're interested in really getting some bang for your buck, there's our five dollar tier, and that gets you ninety minutes of additional content every month, give or take a few minutes, uh, depending on how much we want to say. Um, but we always have what we call under the table or behind the scenes Q and A's. It's gone through a bunch of different names, but under the table is its current iteration, um, which is our behind the scenes look at what's going on. And we also have a bonus episode every single month. There's so many wild and wacky and strange adventures on Patreon. Uh, there's a lot of weird experiments. There's just some some good stuff. Patreon is a great way for us to kind of get out all of our weird. Um, we have such weird senses of humor. I swear to God, this podcast only covers like a fraction of it. Um, and then we get into the tiers where I personally thank you every single week. Uh, all, well, kind of. $7 and up uh, gets you everything we mentioned before, and then we thank you during our Patreon content. Um, so if you're interested in subscribing to content and hearing us thank you, that's a good way to do it. $10 and up, we thank you here every single week. Uh, no questions asked. If you're a $10 and up patron, this is where we thank you. Uh, as, long as, as long as you hold that banner, we will thank you. Um, and then we have our Snake Eyes $15 tier where we thank you in both. So let's get to thanking, shall we? Uh, we want to thank Alexander Getty, Joseph Stoll, and Smarties, our critical success patrons. Uh, and then we have Brett Abraham, Niji Dragon, and Emmy Kirchner as our Snake Eyes patrons. Arj, ar. Sounded like a pirate. Uh, but thank you guys so, so much for your support. That really means the world to us. 
Um, you guys roll. Patreon.com slash 10 cast. <laughs> Have I said it enough this ad break? I don't know. Uh, we run $25 personal messages and $50 ads. So if you're interested in wishing your friend a happy birthday, uh, announcing your brand new relationship that you were able to get started through the extended uh, community behind the show, uh, or if you want to promote a cool show that you're working on, maybe a podcast, maybe a graphic novel, uh, I'm sure you guys are working on a lot of cool things. And we'd love to be the voice behind your announcement. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, please email us at tincast13 at gmail.com or hit us up on Discord. Specifically me, probably, would be the best way to get results. Uh, and we'll talk and we'll work something out and it'll be really good. I love personal messages. They fill me with warmth. Uh, it's really nice to be able to just say stuff on behalf of someone else and have people get excited when they hear that. It's cool. It's a, yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um D uh, iTunes, I guess, is still a thing. I thought it was canceled, and I guess it kind of is, but also kind of not. So you can still get your podcast through there. Um, so I don't know why the internet was freaking out about that, but I guess that's just sort of how the internet goes, isn't it? But um, um, but anyway, if you listen to this on a service that lets you rate, comment, and subscribe, kind of like iTunes, please do that. I want to thank uh, who is it? Triops. Uh, Nanorama, uh, Lovelies and Lonelies, who sent us some really nice reviews on iTunes in the last few months. Uh, I don't check it all that often, um, but you know who does see it are new people who head over to the show to try and subscribe to it, um, and it really means the world to us when you know they can they can head over there and see all the nice things you guys have said. Um, so thank you so much if you do that. That's that's really neat of you. Uh, we'll be forever in your debt, honestly and truly. Like, you you want something? Name it. You gave us an iTunes review? I got you, uh, Dave. I got you. <laughs> um, hmm. Is there anything else I want to talk about this week? I don't think so. Uh, so, I guess let's get back into the madness, shall we? Join us. July 1st, for the end of Wishmaker and the start of the rest of the podcast. Tell a friend, I love you. Drink lots of water, okay? Drink water and tell a friend. Multitask. All right, all right, let's let's get back into it. We'll see you, we'll see you soon. Bye. Fuck, why does it never stop? The four of you uh, push your way into a uh, an entryway, like as if you were in some sort of residential home, as the door slams closed behind you. Uh, I mean, Atticus isn't doing that. Atticus is like, No, no, you're doing it. No, I don't want to do that. The four no, of you? The four of you, yes. Got four. Oh, is Michelle's here? Yes. Michelle's Check. my best friend. I'm going to make Michelle my best friend. Cornelius is my best friend. <laughs> Yeah! Phoebe, Phoebe hates me now. <laughs> Phoebe's uh, offended. Friendship of ended what? with what Atticus. What happened? You're not my best friend, Atticus. You tried to kill me! Friendship Did ended with try, Atticus. Do you, don't. <laughs> Cornelius is Phoebe's best friend now. Yes. Atticus looks broken. <laughs> no. Uh, I think you all might actually look a little broken. Uh, does anyone say anything? Does anyone do anything? If I can, I want to be like, what the fuck is happening? Where the fuck am I? Okay, I mean, if you guys listen, if you guys want to talk, go ahead. I so we're walking, but we can still talk? No, no, I mean, you've walked. You oh, are okay. standing in an entryway in a home. And we're just, can I move now? Yes. Wait, I want to try and leave. Let's not talk if we're in somebody's home, if we're just breaking and entering, maybe. Whose house is this? Right? I want to try, try and leave. All right, you try and pull on the door, just not budge. Is there a window? There is. I want to tap my um, my elbow against it. Can I describe the window? Sure. It is boarded up. Oh, damn it. Phoebe takes out her butter cutter and chops <laughs> it down. Uh, Atticus pulls a baseball bat out of her ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys are all dressed in uh, PJs. Cornelius is wearing uh, boxers and a t-shirt. 
<laughs> Phoebe points and laughs. <laughs> What's Phoebe wearing? wearing? Phoebe's wearing a tank top and uh, little pajama bottoms. Atticus is also wearing a tank top and like um uh like workout shorts. Oh, she's... what's Michelle wearing? Uh, pretty similar to yours, Atticus. Mm-hmm. Uh, like a, it's actually more like a t-shirt uh, and then like some shorts. Uh, I'm as I'm like still de- like debating the options of you know cr- try to try to crunch this window. I'm like, hey, Michelle, what is going on? What what I... happened? The the last thing I I remember there was he was there, Adam. Yeah, yeah, he was in my hospital room too. So. He was in my house. He was in my hotel room. Why are you all so nonchalant about this? I just... Maybe this is a dream. I just... I don't want to do this. Phoebe looks around. Are there stairs? There are stairs. They lead up to a second floor. There's also rooms on the left and right. Um, Going upstairs. As you start to head up the stairs, uh, you hear a voice... It echoes both in your mind and all around you, originating from no clear source. And it says, You know, I'm surprised at the four of you. I never would have guessed of all the people that I thought would try to kill me. It was not you guys, truly. How'd you do it? With a bat? Yeah, I just smacked you in the fucking head. That explains a lot. Or but the neck, maybe? It was the, it was the neck. It was the I neck, mean, yeah, his, that, yeah, he was pretty fucked up. Yeah, that's why your neck looks so fucked up, bro. Yeah. You gotta use character voice. I'll get back into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, here we are now. Hope everyone's lived a good life. I haven't. Where, where are we? Oh, you don't need to worry about that. Oh, it's too late. I'm gonna worry about that. <laughs> A little can bit I, of anxiety, just yeah. Can I just go home, please? I don't give a shit about your weird revenge plans, yeah, horror wait. adventure. I just want to go back. Wait, wait, wait. Home. Why? Why are they here? I killed you. Ah, uh, <laughs> I asked. I asked who was there. It was the four of you. Asked who? Stolos was there too. I don't know who that is. Oh. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. I'm sorry, Mark, what did you ask? Who I asked, who did he ask? Uh, As for who I asked, well, that was me. You ask yourself? Yes. Yes. There's two of you now? No, no. One is plenty. One's too many. One is too many. I agree with you. One's too many. (laughs) You gotta go. (laughs) Listen, Adam. I... You're gonna murder us. I I don't have the energy for this. I've had the worst week of my fucking life. I just want to go home. Oh, um, now would be probably a good time to actually uh, explain... A little bit more about the physical, about what's going on. Atticus, mm-hmm. you are still gripping your lamp. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I still have my lamp? Yes. Cornelius, you still have your shotgun. <laughs> okay, uh, Cornelius. In hand. I have a farm. Uh, Fair. And, well, I guess, Phoebe, you're just armed with your fists. I posted up with the figure in the corner of my room. <laughs> is there an outlet nearby? I grabbed a gun. There is an outlet nearby. I plug my lamp into the outlet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I turn it on. All right, so as you turn the lamp on... The uh the room and most of the house from where you can see is uh plastered with a kind of almost tacky dark red wallpaper. I rip it down. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to roll strength? Can I'm curious to see if I can damage the house. So yeah, let's do that. I got a hard success. All right, yeah. So you uh, claw your fingernails into the uh, the wallpaper and you start pulling them down, and it does indeed uh, peel back to reveal some plaster walling. Gross. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, that's all I wanted to do because I don't have a weapon, so I can't like bash the wall or anything. Okay. Uh, at this point, Adam says, "It's been very nice catching up with you, but I think it's time for the show to begin." And Yay. I'm gonna have everyone roll dexterity. Oh, okay. 
I just want to convey that Atticus has never looked more miserable in her entire life. I got an ex- saying something. I got an extreme success. I got an extreme success. Ooh. Will. Hold on. Will. Will. Hold on. And Michelle. That's Can you hit past me, Atticus' is cheat? Is that this? Did I ever tell you guys that my dexterity <laughs> is a 90? Bless you. Yes. Yes, you did. Isn't that pretty cool, Max? Oh, it's fine. I still I still hit that success. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bill Cornelius. Oh, here it is. Okay. I rolled a 70. Out of- and my pass was 75. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let me just... Yeah, let's get that all in there. <laughs> okay, so Cornelius passed, Atticus passed... Phoebe extreme passed. success. Yeah, we got those extreme success, Max. Thank you. Give All us right. some credit. The uh, house now tilts 90 degrees clockwise. Disgusting. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Cornelius <laughs> yells. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, uh, the You guys are all fine. Um, Michelle? Michelle? Can I... I got an extreme success. If I can see her, like... if I. I I didn't move that far away from her. Can I try and grab her? Yeah, you can roll strength. That is an eight, which is an extreme success. Okay. So Michelle loses her balance as the house starts to tilt. And uh, you know how I said there were, you know, rooms on the left and right Mm -hmm. as well as the stairs? Yeah, they're now up and down. Oh. Um, And she starts falling uh, for the hole in the floor now. Uh, And Atticus, you reach out and grab her. Oh, shit. (laughs) And uh, you bring her over to the. Uh, so you're you're you guys are kind of in a narrow, uh, sort of place between the stairs mm-hmm. and the hole in the floor. Oh, oh boy! I'm on the stairs because I was going up them. Yes. So you're now on the landing or the railing. Sorry. Um. And Michelle says, "Oh my God! Thank you, Atticus." Yeah. Don't even worry about it, dude. What is happening? I I don't fucking know. Do either hate Cornelius, uh, Phoebe? Like, you got any? Mm-hmm. No? Phoebe? No? Uh, we have a fun house I was in when I was a kid, but uh, not really anything else. Oh, uh, that's a no. Wait. I it, My phone. Do I have my phone? Yeah. I Can I pull up that number? Yes. I call it. Okay. Uh, do you put it on speakerphone? Yeah, I do. You hear... Oh, what? So you ignore me Hello, for- Hello, uh, you guy that yelled at me about the body, Adam's body? You're looking for Adam's body? Yes. I found it. Yeah, he- I know. You monsters kidnapped it. No, no, he fucking kidnapped us. We're trapped in some dark, shittily designed house, um, and now it's spinning, and also he's super dead still. Like, I saw his nasty-ass fucking neck- in the hospital um he still has his wish powers uh but uh anyway can you i don't know who you are but if you know about still lost can you maybe help us please can you please help us get out of here wait what oh that fucking asshole i i don't understand i thought all of his powers were just based on human interaction i don't know he came into my hospital room and he creeped on me like what fucking silent hill or some shit and he was like i wish you'd come with me (laughs) the fuck's a silent hill i don't know all right i'm (laughs) stressing out here now he's tilting the house and michelle almost fell in a hole who's michelle that's a don't even worry about it she doesn't want anything to do with stolas silent hill is a game by the way just letting everybody know it's spooky, okay? Who can you help us? Can you get something to help us? I don't know what's happening, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get our asses handed to us. I don't know what to do in this sort of situation. Um, Does, can I? Sorry. Stolas help us? We are not telling Stolas about this. Who, I will tell Stolas who, about this. Who is this? What's going on? I don't know. He called. He was calling me in the hot. He was giving me some creepy texts. He's like, "Where's my body, Atticus?" So I called him to tell him to piss off. And he knows about Stolas, so I don't know. Some kind of like dead guy. Dead guy. <laughs> I don't know who. I don't. You didn't tell me who you were. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell Stolas on you. I ain't no, no, I ain't no, 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 no. That is not an option. Why? 
<sighs> I'm gonna get in a lot of fucking trouble if that body doesn't get back here. That's awesome. He fucking if we if we die, you're gonna get in a lot of fucking trouble because I'll personally make sure my soul goes to hell. I'm pretty sure it's already going there, and I'll be like, "Excuse me, can I talk to the Stolos in charge here?" And then I'll tell on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get him. <laughs> What do you think a Stolos is? You know what? Never mind. That's- <laughs> Can I just make a point? Phoebe's going to start going up the railing and looking around upstairs now. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I guess, okay, just splitting up the party. No problem. Yep. Um, Phoebe. Bye. All right. As Phoebe uh, creeps up the railing, can you actually roll Dex? Yeah. It's not like I need to. <laughs> hard success all right so you nimbly uh step on the bars that make up the railing as you work your way up um once you're upstairs uh to the left of you is you know a solid wall where the floor was mm-hmm. um and this wall ascends upwards to where some rooms are and there's also a room um where would it be now i guess it'd be below you um, how many doors can I see? Uh, above you, there are an additional two. So there's five rooms in this house that we can see so far? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna open the door. I'm gonna head back downstairs. Just let everybody know what I found. Okay. Meanwhile, Atticus, you are still arguing furiously. I'm blackmailing him. I'm like, I will find out your name. And I will tell on you. You think I'm above that? I'm not above that. I don't know what you want from me. I want help. I want to get out of here. I want to not die. I'm useless. Well, then find someone who can help us. I don't want to get in trouble. Well, I don't... How about this? If you help us, uh, I don't know what kind of sway we've got with Stolas, but I'll... I'll... Oh, fuck. God damn it. I'll tell him I'll help him for free. I, I won't I won't ditch on this squad like I was planning on it. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, Phoebe. <laughs> Roll persuasion and take a bonus dice. That's a 13. And that's five. Okay, so that's a 13 on persuasion. Persuaba. Persuabo. Per persua persua beep. Oh fuck! I failed. It's a thirteen. I need a base. I have a base of ten. I have Man, you make a lot of persuasion rolls for someone. I was trying to intimidate. <laughs> you did a bad job at intimidating. <laughs> you tried to make a deal with this man. <laughs> yeah, but with the base that I'll tell on him otherwise. <laughs> if you, okay, I guess you can either threaten him. <laughs> Or you can push the roll. Those are your choices. All right, and I'm like, and then I add to the end of it, and I'm like, because if you don't, I swear to God, I'll have your ass handed to you on a platter. All right, now you can roll intimidation. <laughs> That's a hard success. All right. So after you just sort of, uh, you know, try and try and plead nice, and you don't hear a response, Atticus, you get kind of mad. You get a little pissed off. A little. This guy harasses me in the middle of the night, and then I have to be more awake as I get kidnapped in the middle of the night. Now I'm stuck here. (laughs) Sad. (laughs) And with Michelle, who is not my friend, even though I wanted to be friends with her. You can work on it. I don't know what you want from me. I'm not. I'm just saying this is how Atticus feels. That's fair. And the voice sighs and says, I don't 100% know what I can do to help you. But the four of you aren't alone. Oh? Yes, from your current position, I think I can see one other figure. Uh, I guess you would want to travel vertically. So, is that Adam, I assume? I would assume so. Can I kill him twice? Hmm? That I don't know. This is a little out of my jurisdiction. This is absolutely not helping. You're not being helpful. Cool, you've pointed us in the direction. We would have probably gone eventually. But what, what do you want? I want you to find us someone who can help us. Like Stolas. 
<laughs> I don't know. Because you could get still off and be like, oh, I can't help you either. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess it's just like, like, sh- like shaking your phone like, I want out of here. Okay, well, if Adam is somewhere near us, we should start looking in the rooms. What rooms? Like the one that's a giant hole in the floor? Or walk up the stairs. There's a room right there. You're already, aren't you up on the landing near it? No, I came back down. Oh. We have to move. Yeah, there's five rooms in this house, by the way, so far that I've seen. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I guess we don't really have a choice then. Um, listen here, bud. Get Stolas. Fine, fine. I'll get Stolas. Miserable. <laughs> he hangs up no, the phone. You're great. <laughs> I have a, she, she has a flip phone, by the way. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Flips it close. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys do? Um, I guess we... Um, so where we were on like a little landing. Yes. So we can roll to walk up the stairs to the top floor where Phoebe saw rooms. Yes. Is that is that what we should do? You want to go look up there, Phoebs? Yeah, let's go look up there. And again, Quinn up is, is sort of... Yeah. You know, relative with your current situation. Good with you, Cornelius? Yeah. I mean, when he said vertically, did he mean the room that's the hole in the ceiling or the one at the top of the stairs, which would be the technical vertical of the house? I don't think we can technically fly here, so mm-hmm. I'm just going to no, go. I'll, ju- I'll just clip through the ceiling. It's a half <laughs> apron. I'll, I'll make it. I'm just going to. I think we should just keep going. Michelle, are you. Is Cornelius into Super Mario 64 <laughs> speed running? Yes. <laughs> Michelle, do you have a weapon? No. Um, well, here, you can arm yourself with my lamp. And she gives her the lamp. Oh, thanks. I- I'm better with my feet, though. You gonna kick him? You are gonna hit him with a lamp? Yeah, absolutely. Then I'm gonna kick him. Okay, I, I was trying to be nice. She doesn't look, like, offended or upset. It's, it's more, like, definitive. Daticus looks slightly offended. Daticus? <laughs> Atticus looks slightly offended. Atticus is dad. Pops into the room. Daticus. Atticus has a panic attack. All right, let's all roll. Dexterity. I'm going to reroll that. All right. What we get? I fumbled. A critical success. What the oh. fuck, Will? Okay. Oh, I got a two. I was so close. <laughs> Michelle also did okay. So uh, Phoebe and uh, Michelle start uh, creeping their way up the stairs. They're doing they're doing really well. Um, Cornelius, with a spring in your step, you take the uh, the rungs and the railing two at a time as you nimbly uh, ascend, relatively ascend. Uh, Atticus, you step on the first. It comes loose, and it's like, you know, it's basically like a, what's the word? It's like a cylinder, you know? A very thin cylinder. Uh, So it comes loose and spins back at you uh, as your foot comes up and the rest of you tumbles down. Great. Uh, And you're going to take... Is it five points of damage? Or is it six points of damage? Is it seven points of damage? Six points of damage. Six points oh of damage. My God. Uh, Does my leg break? No, you feel something in your back slip out of place no. as you collapse on it. Let me roll Constitution to keep from screaming. Critical success. Okay. Um. <laughs> fueled by your desire to not look <laughs> stupid, so you slip, fall on your back. And immediately hop back up. Uh, that is a major wound, so Atticus is going back to the hospital <laughs> to get that looked at. Um, but you are actually not doing as bad as you could. There are tears streaming down her face, but other than that, her face is impassive. Michelle's like, are you okay? No. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> But I don't really have a choice. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Um, 
And as you guys, uh, I can't believe I've made a character with permanent back problems. <laughs> <laughs> it all started when you got punched in the spine. You yeah. never recovered. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's be real. That uh, probably this is, this is some real 2019 vibes. Okay. Yeah, that. I mean, honestly, you're so right. Ugh. So as you all rest at the landing, uh, relatively. <laughs> Is my back like dislocated or something? Can I like? Did you slip a disc? Do you think there's any chance I could put it back and feel better? <laughs> Have me punch you in the back again? No, I would die. I'd literally die. Uh, I mean, I would honestly say you'd probably be better off having someone else mm -hmm. uh, do it because I don't think Atticus has the wherewithal to successfully do enough like strength to herself to to uh. I mean, get I have a sixty in, in first aid. I guess you can roll first aid. Okay, I'm going to attempt to roll first aid on myself. I'm just going to tell you, though. You should let me do first aid on you. What do you have in first aid? I can't fail first aid. Okay. No, he can, but he needs 100. Okay. Perform first aid upon me. I come up the stairs. After falling on my back, I'm now in tears, but my face seems like oh. eh, Will, bored. you're nice. Oh, it's right there. Will rolls 100 and I die. <laughs> my watch is telling me to get up and do shit. Pushes Atticus down the stairs again. Ha ha ha, it's funny. Let's see. It's a success. Hell yeah. Just like a mild one. All right. Well, uh, Cornelius, you've uh, you've seen slip discs before at the park, uh, and as the park's somewhat <laughs> <Have> you, <laughs> oh, I'm sure. they fell off the corn husker. <laughs> oh, old man Johnson fell off the corn husker back Whoa. back last fall, and Cornelius had to slip his disc back in before he sued. And then some <laughs> kid flew off the tilt of corn. <laughs> The, the corn stu cups. The stupid <laughs> corn attraction names make me laugh so much harder than they should. I fucking love that. Um, it's like the dumb corporation names. Anyway, Cornelius, you do a good job <laughs> is where I'm trying to go with all this. You slip Atticus's disc back into place, and I guess you don't have a major wound anymore. Does it make a loud popping? Fixed like your major wound Am I still problem? at nine health, though? Oh, yeah. Well, that's not too bad. What you you have fifteen health usually. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it is good. Um, okay. If you know we what's... if we if I hadn't spent that week in the hospital, I'd be dead. All right. So now, uh, pretty similar to your previous situation, you're all kind of gathered around another hole in the floor, um, and then again above you, stretching uh, upwards, there are there are two more doors. Um, from below, something sounds like it's gurgling. Ew. Who's hungry? Uh, the ooze is hungry. Oh, a uh, a black tar-like goo begins pouring uh through the bottom of the floor uh ah. and starts rising up to meet you guys. We gotta go. Bye. Uh, bye. Bye. What? <laughs> we, can we go into one of the doors? Like the doors? Or is that where it's coming from? Well, okay, so again, there is an area below you. There's a room below you. Mm -hmm. That's where the tar is starting to rise from. And then vertically above you uh, are some rooms. How far above? Hmm, first one's 10 feet. Oh. Second one's another 10 feet. Jesus. Someone lift me up on your shoulders. All right, I got you. Is there any reason uh, we would need to keep quiet here? No. No. Okay. Not, I mean, as far as you guys have, you know, seen, there's, there doesn't look like there'd be a reason to keep quiet. Like, I, you're in here to die. Mm -hmm. I rolled strength to lift uh, Atticus up, and I got an extreme success. All right, you easily hoist Atticus onto your shoulders. I want to open the door. How tall are you guys? I'm 5'9". <laughs> I have some bad news. Phoebe's like 5'2", I think. Well, that's, that's actually, ten that's 10 feet. Yeah. Will you be able to, like, pull yourself up? Yeah. Um, all right, pull myself up into the room. D do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> don't roll for it. I just do it. Why do you roll climb? Climb? Max, are you being a bitch today? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did specify you climbed into it. Okay. That is a success. All right. Barely. Atticus, you hoist yourself uh, into this room, swinging your legs, uh, you know, over the side as well. 
as you uh, look down on your friends. Hey. Uh, you are in what kind of looks like a child's bedroom. Is there anything dangerous in here? Nope. Safe in here? For now. All right. Uh, I want to reach down and be like, all right, uh, I'm going to pull Michelle in first since Michelle doesn't have really have a weapon and I don't think you can kick ooze to death. <laughs> uh, and I reach for her hand. Okay. Uh, Michelle grabs it. Roll strength. Bah. No, I failed. <laughs> Poor Michelle. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <sighs> All right. Uh, your fingers sweaty. Uh, grip her hand as she uh, as she tries to hold. Uh, I'd like to push the roll. Okay. What do you do? Okay. So her the grip loosens. Yes. Um, I want to hook my feet into the doorway and like grab her with both of my hands. Okay. That is a hard success. Hell yes. Uh, technically, I am supposed to tell you what would happen if you did bad before you roll. Would I have dropped her down into the ooze? Oh, yeah, you would have. Okay. Would she um, have died? We'll never know. Good. Uh, or at least we won't know yet. Um, all right. So Michelle is now hoisted up. Uh, who's next? Cornelius. Um, why don't you go up next? Oh, Okay. All right. Um, can I ask Michelle to try and help me with this? Oh yes, that okay. that is exactly what's happening. Do I have to roll anything? No, I'll have them make the roll. I got a success. All right. I also got I got hard success. Uh, Whoa. so Phoebe, you are hoisted up away from the goo. Cornelius. I guess I'll go. I thought Cornelius was gonna like sprout demon wings and just light it on fire. <laughs> Y'all mind if I fly up there? <laughs> you just hear. <laughs> I grow corn wings. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine? Alright, I got a normal success to hoist uh, Phoebe up. Cornelius? Uh, I got a success to uh, hoist Cornelius. Okay, Cornelius, yeah. Uh, did I have to roll it all? No. Okay, good. I got a fail. <laughs> well, that's fine, we only need two people. Uh, all right. I just smack Cornelius <laughs> on the head. <laughs> and, Getting uh, pulled up, you kick me in the face. You are hoisted into uh, this this child bedroom where you all currently sit and are able to take a brief, uh, you know, sigh of relief. I'd like to recover one health point, please. <laughs> <laughs> please give me one HP. I'm sorry, how? Uh, Rest. Prayer. <laughs> Please. Give me the please. To Prayer. To Dear, Prayer to what? Dear Stolas. I don't know if you fucking <laughs> Dear Stolas. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you are, but please give me back my life. I'm dying. My back I'll give is up. my back is fucked forever. <laughs> Let me give up three constitution to give you some of my health. <laughs> Is this a, is this a bit? Or are you trying no, to do something? It's just a bit. It's okay. just a bit. I'm not gonna pray to Stola. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. Hello? That all just got picked up. <laughs> Y'all might- ooh, punched the mic. Even- even if I did know- Even- hold on, let me try that again. Free real estate! When, when do you want, want it? Now! now. Free real estate. What do we want? Money. Free free weed. <laughs> when do we want it? What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? what? Free, when do we want it? Free weed. <laughs> what? What? Huh? Hold on. What? <laughs> who are wait, who are wait, you? Are we recording? <laughs> oh, you betcha. This is gonna this is gonna go great at the end of the episode. <laughs> are you ready to leave the him? Uh, what? <laughs> What's up, Ben? Sorry, can you try that one again? <laughs> <laughs> can I give it another go? I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm gonna pass out. Guys, I'm about to faint. I'm about to lose consciousness all up in this slut right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. Beth, you can't say that. Goodbye. Beth, you want to take a nap? What if I did just faint? What if I was like goodbye and then just like fainted? I would, uh, I would call the doctor. 
Oh, I can't afford an ambulance. Don't do that. Don't faint. Uh, guys, I rolled a zero one. Uh, what does I that have, mean? I have shin splints. It means I'm, I'm gonna get you new dice, Mark. That shit. No, these it's are my fucking favorite dice, Max. You can't take them Listen, away. I was listening to finale episodes mm-hmm. the other last night. Um, mm-hmm. all the critical, critical successes in rows. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was nuts. It yeah. was absolutely insane. Uh, and of course, this season isn't going any better in that department. But <laughs> no, he fucking kidnapped us. Okay, that was really dandy esque. I'm so sorry for your loss. Of your- <laughs> what? Did you say loss, Will? Shh. I'm giving Max some ASMR for later. Thanks. Thanks, I'm guys. So I'm so sorry about your loss of hearing due to Mark slapping the mic over and over. But Max, you're my best friend. I love you. Hello. I hope you like ASMR. I couldn't hear I hate you guys. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Max, I hope your day goes really great because you're a special guy. <laughs> Max. Max. I kind of got that one. Max, you're my friend. I love you. Max, I like the X Men. Are we done? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my leggy. Look at my <laughs> Guys, I love you. Can we please keep going? Oh, I guess. Thanks. Thanks, friends. <laughs> Sorry if my uh, haunted house story is boring for you. I got my leg. Ooh. Ooh! I peeked. <laughs> Ooh. Look, at, look at this line of peeking. Anyway. That right. was you yelling at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 